Hello everyone, I'm The Shades, and welcome again to Shades of Soapbox. So, I've had a lot of different topics thrown through my head about different things I wanted to discuss, but yesterday I kind of had a realization in my head that a lot of the problems that we have in our society really boil down to one basic mentality that I think really needs to be addressed. And that is the idea that everyone has been recently thinking in black and white. You're either this or this. And honestly, that more than anything else is what needs to be fixed. A lot of people need to start thinking in gray. And I know that sounds kind of drab the way that sounds, but hear me out. A lot of the extremists tend to be, well, extreme. It's kind of in the name. They don't see the forest through the trees. And a lot of the issues that we have are as a result of just us thinking it has to be all the way one side, which just does not work in a modern society. Race, religion, gender equality, sexuality, all of that. The problem is, is you're either fully for it, fully against it, and that's it. Now, in some cases, that's great to be fully for something, but you have to understand that what I mean by fully for it, that includes even the bad sides of it. Gun control, I think, is the biggest one of that. You're either fully in favor of gun control or you're fully against gun control. And that's just not feasible in any society. You know, either it's all guns or no guns. That doesn't work. And that's the same for many different issues in this country. You have to have a gray area. You know, you have to get to a point where you say, I'm in favor of this up until this point, whatever that may be. And usually, if you start thinking like that, you can start to see the flaws on all sides and come to that compromise. I'm a happily married man. I love my wife to death very much. And one of the reasons why we are still married after all these years is because we don't think in black and white. Both of us are willing to compromise on a lot of different things. We see the gray area and we embrace it because we know we're not always going to get everything we want. But by working together, we usually get enough to be satisfactory. And that's how everything should work. Know that you're not going to get everything but work to get enough. And some people might say, well, I can't compromise on this. Yes, you can. You can always compromise. It just comes to a matter of what is absolutely necessary. What can you afford to give up to get the true thing you want? Because truth be told, a lot of times what you really want isn't as much as you think you want. You want it all, but how much do you really need? You know, how much of a thing do you support? You know, you support one thing, but how much of that do you actually truly want? You know, a lot of the extreme feminists, and I say extreme because there's actually some feminists out there who are really cool people, and I have to specify that because I don't want everyone to think I'm lumping them in into one group. That's the whole point of this video is that I'm not doing that. But a lot of the extreme feminists, they, they don't want true equality. They want female superiority. That's not a good idea because then you're just flipping the problem around. But true gender equality means compromise on both sides. Do not think us guys are getting off the hook on this one. There's a reason why feminism is a thing, because us males have really fucked things up. We need to change. Women just as equally need to say, how much do we really want? Where is the line? You know, us guys really need to get our shit straight. There is no question about that. Do not ever think that I am against feminism at all, because no, women deserve to be treated equally. I treat my wife equally to me, because guess what? I'm happy with that idea. It works out more often than not. I lose nothing and gain a lot from being equal to my wife. And if I can do that, if a 32-year-old white male can pull that shit off, who's to say you can't? Folks, black and white mentalities do not work. And I don't mean racist-wise. Obviously, black, black and white should work together. But that's where the gray area comes in. Us whites need to get out of the white zone and show that we are willing to work. And blacks need to come with us to say... Here's what we really want. The rest of it will come with time. Here's what we need right now. Here is the absolute necessities that we need to get this ball rolling. You know, I could go all day with all of the different issues where having a gray area makes so much sense. And the whole thing started for me when I was considering doing a topic about medication. You know, as someone with mental health, it's a big issue for me. Not everyone needs to be medicated. In fact, some people may be over medicated. Let's be completely fair here. But that does not mean that medication is wrong. There are people out there, myself included, who need medication in order to even function. It is a very simple fact of life. It's a matter of figuring out whether or not medication is right for you. That's the gray area. Where do you fit on the spectrum? There's a reason why autism is no longer just a single mental issue. It is a spectrum of different mental health conditions because it's no longer 
just one thing. It's no longer just you're autistic or you're not. It's you're anywhere in between. That is the gray area. And that is where all of us should be thinking. One of my biggest and most basic philosophies on life is balance is key. Going too far to either side will just cause you to fall off. You need to find the balance, that center point where everything comes together. So you know what? I'm starting a new movement. I want to start a new movement that emphasizes finding that gray area. Do me a favor. If you are watching this video right now, I want you to go on your social media and start the hashtag find the gray area. Let's end this divisiveness. Let's end this black and white mentality and let's find the gray area. There's a reason why we call one of the nicknames for our brains the gray matter because that is the mentality we should have, the gray area using our gray matter to find the gray area. So spread the hashtag, find the gray area. Let's get this going and add to it one of my other new hashtags. Hashtag united, not divided. Because if we find the gray area, we will be able to come together as one cohesive unit and solve many of the problems in our world. Obviously, this will not happen overnight. This is not a miracle cure. I am not expecting this to spread like wildfire and save the planet. It's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of work. But I feel that if we can reevaluate our situation and readjust our mentalities, we can find a purpose to save ourselves from this divisiveness and from this tragedy that has befallen our, our country and our planet. Anyway, that's going to do it for me here today, folks. Hopefully you guys uh, learned something here today. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this whole idea of finding the gray area. Let me know if you can help support the movement. And of course, let me know if for any suggestions you'd like to see here on the soapbox. Post them down in the comments as well. I'll take a look at them. And also, make sure you check out a link to my Patreon page. Show some support if you can. Shout out to my patron, Solar Star, for your continued support. In the meantime, I want to thank you guys for joining me as always here on the Soapbox. On the Shades, and we'll see you guys next time. Rock on!